if you have advice on how to do this, of how to astral project or have an out of body experience, I've been waiting for somebody like you to come on this show, man. I didn't, I didn't know you had like a DIY. <laughs> this is this is gonna be cool. Absolutely, definitely. <clears throat> so I started having paranormal experiences when I was fourteen. Uh, this is this is when I first got into astral projection. <clears throat> Uh, but before I, I get into the experiences, I think it would be best if I explain the context of these experiences so that, you know, everyone understands exactly what's going on. Uh, so when I was 14, I started practicing astral projection, which is essentially a type of out-of-body experience in which your consciousness leaves the physical body and travels into higher dimensions of reality. Uh, so these dimensions are, are commonly called the astral dimension, although the astral dimension actually consists of a multitude of dimensions. Uh, so basically, reality exists in a, an entire spectrum of different dimensions, uh, and these dimensions exist at, at different frequencies of energy. You know, it's similar to how there's different frequencies of light, and we can only perceive a limited range of these frequencies like the rest of the light spectrum like infrared and x-ray and microwave these are invisible to us so in the same way uh, there's all these higher dimensions of reality that are beyond our perception when we're grounded my experiences with my higher self when when i merge with this higher consciousness those have been some of the the most profound experiences that i've had um, and I've also experienced uh, a connection with um, what I perceive to be a, as God and not just God, but like all of reality and all living things. And, um, and these types of states have been some of the the highest levels of consciousness that I've reached. And during these states, uh, it's, it's so incredible. There's almost like a constant state of, of bliss. It, it seemed like <clears throat> they kind of fed off of my fear. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, you know, I've heard similar reports by other out-of-body explorers. So, um, yeah, it's definitely not just me. These things are out there. <clears throat> and um, you know, it's hard to say exactly what their intentions are, but they definitely trigger this fear in most people. And, um, you know, they seem to, to enjoy that. Yeah. 